Hey, what's up guys? So it is Monday morning and I had gone to the doctors on Saturday, if you guys remember, and the doctors told me that I wasn't pregnant and so they gave me one requisition for blood work even though I asked for like four or five. I went, I got that blood work done. I actually signed up for this thing online where you like pay 20 bucks and then you can view your results as soon as the lab puts them up. So I knew on Sunday morning, but at like one in the morning that my HCG beta number came back at 43, which is good. It's good, but it's still nerve wracking because my last beta, like for my last pregnancy, the highest that I had heard it at was only like 400. So I just really wanted to get above that. <laughs> So like, um, obviously it's really early on in the pregnancy and I caught it pretty fast, which I expected that I did because I did take a pregnancy test probably a week ago. I don't remember when, but I did definitely take one and it was negative. So I know that I'm like pretty early on anyways. So yeah, so I got a call this morning from the same doctor's office because I guess they thought that they were going to share the news with me that I was pregnant as if I didn't know before I went in when I had taken four pregnancy tests and two different brands and all of them were positive. I am not even gonna tell you guys how many I've taken now because it is an embarrassing number, but I have just been watching to see the lines getting darker and it's making me really happy and excited. And then the freaky thing, totally freaky thing happened. Last night, we were sitting down at dinner and well actually Alex and the kids were sitting down at dinner and I was sitting in like the homeschool room right beside dinner and I was kind of like watching them but I was feeling kind of not like eating. I'm sitting in the room over there and I was building the kids a Lego set Joe all of a sudden looks up and he goes hey mommy remember when you peed in that thing what's that called and it was that little thing from the video where I told the kids that I was pregnant and it called it a trough so I said oh the trough and he said when are you gonna do that again and I said well why buddy like why do you want me to do that and he said well we, I really want another baby still so I'd like if you could do that so we could see if you're having another baby and Alex and I both looked at each other like bewildered because Joe has not mentioned having another baby or doing a pregnancy test or anything like that since the miscarriage, though he has mentioned the miscarriage. So it was just super, super weird that out of the blue, he would be like, hey mommy, I think you should pee in a trough and we should check and see if you're pregnant. It's almost like he had some kind of premonition about it or something. Anyways, right now I have left the kids with my mom and I'm on the way back to the doctor's office because um, they called me this morning like, oh, you're pregnant. Since it's a walk-in clinic, I was like, well, is there any way I can make an appointment so I don't have to take a long time away from my kids? And they said, no, you have to wait just like everybody else at the walk-in. So I'm probably gonna be here for freaking ever, but I am gonna try and get the rest of my requisitions so that I can keep track of my number. I would like to get another one and do it today, so We'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, this is good, this is good. Cause I feel like, I feel like every single time that I get like another positive, like another test or another like, you know, good number or something like that. Like it just feels more and more like this is happening and I want this to happen. So yeah, um, I guess I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm gonna go into the doctors now and that is all. This is from me and this is from Michelle. Did you just come back from the dentist? Yeah. And what did you get? Two prizes. Two prizes? Your mouth is all messed up. Do you see how it's droopy on one side? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's frozen. <laughs> You're right, because it's frozen. Don't you, hey, come here. I'm going to get the lip balm. So Alex just got home and I am having a five minute lie down because I am super hot and sweaty. So I forgot to tell you guys what happened at the doctors when I left the doctors today. Um, they said it was gonna be like a half hour wait and I ended up waiting two hours, which was crazy. But once I got into the room, I just did yoga by myself for like 40 minutes. So that was nice. The doctor, oh, I don't know. The one on Saturday was like, yeah, totally. Like you can do that, no problem. Like she didn't really say anything, but then she changed her mind, went to the secretary, dipped the pee stick and said that I wasn't pregnant which I am. Yeah, this doctor kind of had a bit of a different feeling about it. He was like, yeah, I can give you some repeat blood draws, but there's really no point in doing them. He's like, if you're feeling really insecure, then the best thing to do is an ultrasound. And I wouldn't do an ultrasound until your blood HCG level reaches 6,000. So maybe just like wait a couple of weeks and then 
do a blood draw and then if it's there then we can do an ultrasound like he didn't sound very hopeful for the pregnancy at any point he was kind of like oh you know my wife had a miscarriage and i was okay with it because obviously there was something wrong with the baby genetically you know in order for a baby to spontaneously abort over 80 percent of their cells must have been bad or i don't know something like that and then he was like it'd be very hard to take care of a disabled baby i don't know he was just rambling on about something but you know i told him that it would just make me feel better if i could go in and just get the blood draws and watch the numbers going up. And so he ended up giving me a requisition for um, four repeat blood draws. But basically the doctor was kind of like, ooh, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. So what's the point in looking? And I didn't know how, like nothing that I could say was making any sense to him when it came to the fact that like, it doesn't matter if it's not going to help the pregnancy. It's not going to harm the pregnancy either to take some blood out of my arm and it's going to make me feel better because when you've had a loss it's really really hard to start celebrating a pregnancy. You know it's like like when I got pregnant with James my first pregnancy I was so excited. I carried the pregnancy test around in my purse. I thought about it every minute of the day. I was like, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. Every minute, everything I do, I was like, I'm driving in the car and I'm pregnant. I'm riding on the bus and I'm pregnant. I'm, you know, writing on this paper and I'm pregnant. Like it was just a constant thing in my head and I was really excited. And, um, you know, I guess it was like a little less with each pregnancy just because like, it's not as exciting as the first one. But like with my fourth pregnancy, I was still super excited and I find like with this one I am so guarding my feelings that like I'm scared to be excited and I just want proof. You know the other thing that's hard is like since the miscarriage my pregnancy symptoms never went away and so it's like it kind of started to feel like my new normal and so right now I don't feel pregnant like I don't really feel anything so it's like I just want some proof. Like, I just want to know that everything is good and everything is happening. Even if that proof is not going to do anything medically, even if that proof is not going to like help anything medically, I just want to know. And so um, basically the doctor gave me the requisition and he said, oh, well, you can go today, but um, you know, if your number was 43 on Saturday, then it's probably only around 100 today. And that's not really going to tell you anything because you need to be around 6,000 to get an ultrasound. And I'm just like, okay but it'll tell me that everything's going okay and like I don't know I just feel like, like kind of every time that I feel like things are going okay then it's another check in the box and I start to allow myself to feel like this is something that's really happening and it's something that I'm allowed to be excited about and I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else but I'm sure that like for moms who have been through losses before it makes a lot of sense because I don't know you don't want to fall in love with something that you're gonna lose so I just want more symptoms. I want blood draws. I mean, I wish I could go for an ultrasound right now and they could be like, bam, there's your baby. But obviously the baby is too small for that right now. I've never really been a fan of ultrasounds, but like at this point, I just want anything that's gonna point to the fact that like this pregnancy is gonna result in us having a baby in our arms. So he told me to hold on to the test and go five days after the draw that I did on Saturday. But he said, ultimately it's up to me because I'm the one holding the requisition forms. <sighs> I feel silly. I feel silly being so worried and I feel silly being so obsessed with something as stupid as like a number on a piece of paper, but I just feel like our last pregnancy really robbed us of the excitement of this pregnancy and I told myself that I wasn't going to do that, but I am doing that. I am allowing that to happen, so. Anyways, the other thing that happened today is that I called and got a midwife. And so I haven't met her yet. I actually don't even know what her name is. They said that they typically see people around nine to 10 weeks and they put me in for September the 12th because I'm assuming I'm in the fourth week right now. And so yeah, they put me in at September the 12th and they said that they will see me then. So yeah, it's just gonna be like waiting now. Basically, as you guys can see, I am just a ball of worry and I don't know what to do about that worry and so I'm talking to you guys and then I'm gonna lie down here for a minute and just think about not being worried as if that's gonna help at all. I just want to know this is going somewhere and like most importantly I just want to share it with my kids like I just remember the last time that I told them that I was pregnant and they were so happy and they were so excited and you know I, and I really want this for Joe especially because like we have James and Joe and Lily and James and Lily are like best friends and Joe always talks about how like if we had another brother or sister it would be his best friend and I just really want that for him. I just need the next month to pass by like as fast as possible so that I can just like 
hear this baby's heartbeat and be like, okay, like we're gonna have this baby. And then I can start wondering what they're gonna look like and I don't know what kind of things they're gonna like and what they're gonna sound like and picture their chubby little feet when they start walking before they lose all the fat on them. Like I just wanna be able to dream about all those things and, and I just feel like right now I can't. <laughs>